this is a very important topic of power electronics it is effect of source inductance on rectifier you have the idea about the operation of the rectifiers but let's we know what will happen if we introduce a source inductance on the rectifier side just after the source if we introduce a inductance what will happen now at first look at the circuit first okay here this is a thyristor this is source inductance ls it is the free wheeling diode that is called fd is the free wheeling diode and this is the load this is the load okay we have to start our discussion from here here this is very important things at first this is the wave from a source voltage means the supply voltage vs this is a purely ac car as you can see now in the normal operation there is a delay angle that is alpha alpha is the delay angle and then mu is the concept of overlapping angle comes to the discussion when we introduce the source inductance the property of inductance is that it doesn't allow the certain change of current in the normal case what happen at the alpha at the alpha the current become like this current reach to a certain value just after switching on the rectifier but as we introduce a source inductance the current will increase linearly like this this io stand for the output current or the supply current and this id is the diode current diode current means the free wheeling diode that is introduce your current through this so the diode current will decrease and output current will increase so this is the overlapping period the overlapping angle is the mu okay so now how the output voltage will look like look at here when means at the overlapping period the output voltage is zero so at alpha plus mu the output voltage will follow the supply voltage and at omega t equals to pi the output voltage will become zero after that after omega t equals to pi as because the thyristor goes to the reverse bias so no output current will flow so output voltage will become zero now come to the calculation part i think from the previous concept you know that just for a diode rectifier the output voltage vo will equals to vm by 2 pi so for the diode rectifier the output voltage equals to vm maximum supply voltage divided by pi okay so in case of half wave rectifier and if we use the thyristor so the output voltage will become it will multiplied by 1 plus cos alpha okay alpha is the delay angle and 2 will be there so if we put if we put alpha equals to 0 so in this case the output voltage will become vm by pi as because alpha equals to 0 it will become 1 1 plus 1 2 2 2 will cancel and it is vm by pi so look at here this is the primary output voltage before introducing the source inductance that is vm by 2 pi multiplied by 1 plus cos alpha so uh, if the source inductance present at that particular moment what will happen the output curve will change at the previous case it starts from alpha now it will start from alpha plus mu and it will end at pi okay so the output voltage equation will just change here 
okay at the previous case it starts from alpha now it is starting from alpha plus mu so it will be just alpha will replace by alpha plus mu okay you also can calculate this just by integrating from alpha plus mu to pi it will give the same result okay i am discussing the shortcut you just can replace the alpha by alpha plus mu it will get get this new equation now calculate the change in the output voltage means how much output voltage changes after introducing the source inductance i think you can observe from this graph that due to the effect of source inductance the output voltage means the average output voltage will decrease how much it will decrease just subtract old minus new so it will become vm by 2 pi multiplied by cos alpha minus cos of alpha plus mu just one one cancel from here at here this is very simple okay now how to calculate the io means the output current this equation is very important for you you have to remember this equation now see the derivation here come to this waveform first this is the period where due to the effect of inductance the output voltage changes you know that voltage across the inductor vl equals to l di by dt okay so just i'm using this here v equals to l di dt and vl voltage across the inductor that is vm sin omega t means the supply voltage so just integrate this just integrate this integrating from 0 to i naught why look at here the current starts to increase from 0 to i naught so current will link integrated from 0 to i naught and the angle will be what here at the starting point starting point the angle is alpha at the ending point the angle is alpha plus mu now come here just come here and see it is integrated from alpha to alpha plus mu and it is integrated from 0 to i naught so the output current i naught will become vm by omega l cos alpha minus cos of alpha plus mu this is a relation this is a very important relation between the change of output voltage with the output current how this equation come just from this equation and from this equation how look at this at this equation if we take this omega l here okay omega l multiplied by i naught now it is 2 pi divided by 2 pi both side 2 pi both side so this side is almost equal with this del v naught okay so now this del v naught equals to omega l i naught by 2 pi so del v naught equals to f l i naught f is the frequency means the supply frequency l l is the introduced inductance value and i naught is the output current okay now comes to the single phase full wave rectifier i think uh, you know why we write t1 t1 t2 t3 t4 why as because at the starting we have to trigger this t1 and t2 at a time so the current flow path will become like this it will go this is the load and it is the returning path okay the overall path is like this so then uh, when t3 and t4 will trigger after one half cycle so it will become like this first plus positive plus minus now it will be minus and plus okay 
so the path will become like this okay it is very simple now let's we study the effect of this this source inductance The effect is that this is the supply voltage waveform. Now this is the output voltage waveform. As we discussed, at the overlapping triode, the output voltage will be zero. So it will start from alpha plus mu and it will end at pi plus alpha. This is the output voltage waveform for one half cycle. And just before introducing the source inductance, if the source inductance is not present there, the output current was like this it was just like this okay now due to the effect of source inductance it will oppose the certain change of current so the current will rise in this way from alpha to alpha plus mu okay so go to the calculation part you may know the output voltage equation without source inductance is 2 Vm by pi cos alpha. I want to discuss one thing. Just remember this. If the curve is like this, it starts from if the curve is like this, it starts from an angle and ends at pi. If end at pi. So the equation will be like 1 plus cos alpha. Okay. The equation will be like this. And if this curve starts from a angle alpha and ends at pi plus alpha, so the equation will be cos alpha, sum multiplied by the cos alpha. Okay, so come here, it is not ending at alpha as because in the load, no load is purely resistive load some amount of inductance is present in the load so due to the presence of that inductance up to a certain angle the inductance will continue the flow of current through the thyristors so it will end at alpha plus pi so for this the equation will be 2 vm by pi cos alpha okay now new waveform new waveform just now it is starting from alpha plus mu as i discussed previously so alpha will replace by alpha plus mu so this is the equation for the new output voltage now del v naught just subtract this from this means v naught minus v naught mu so it will become 2 vm by pi cos alpha minus cos of alpha plus mu now uh, the formula of the inductive voltage that is vl equals to ldr dt just integrate from minus i naught to plus i naught okay remember this this is the difference from previous case in this case this is minus i naught to plus i naught okay here four thyristors are there in each half cycle two thyristors will contact so the current will uh, increase from minus i naught to plus i naught so after calculating this this formula will come I naught equals to Vm by 2 omega L cos alpha minus cos of alpha plus mu. What is the difference between previous formula and this formula? It is just half. Remember. Just try to remember and you can watch that again. This 2 was missing at the previous case. Okay. So now how del V naught we have to calculate. If we relate the previous case with this. For the I naught 2 come so it will multiply it by 2 this side so this 2 will cancel okay and also from here the output voltage is double in case of in case of 4 thyristor if we use the output voltage will become double from the previous case so you have to multiply the 2 again so it will become 4 fl i naught you just can calculate by considering this formula and uh, this formula okay it is very simple now come to the third that is 
three phase rectifier the derivation is quite larger you can watch the derivation from any book just to look at the formula first i naught is the output current that is b m l by 2 omega l cos alpha minus cos of alpha plus mu similar with the single phase full bridge inverter difference is that it is v m l v m l means maximum line voltage this is root 3 v m root 3 v m where v m is the maximum phase voltage okay remember this and uh, the output voltage wave form p not new p not old is how much p not old you know i think you know 3 v m l by pi multiplied by cos alpha this is the output voltage wave form without the effect of source inductance okay so in this equation if we put mu equals to zero means no source inductance no overlapping angle is there so uh, it will become two cos alpha means this will become cos alpha again so these two these two will cancel and it will give us the pvs formula okay now output voltage real v naught formula this is six in the first case when there was one thyristor it was f l i naught i am discussing about del v naught okay change of output voltage after introducing source inductance when there was four thyristors the formula was four f i naught four f l i naught now here is six thyristors for the three phase rectifier the formula is six f l i naught you can remember in this way okay so this was the discussion about the effect of source inductance uh, i didn't discuss the every derivation so you can down means you can perform all the derivation from yourself okay thank you